Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video on my YouTube channel. I'm Nicholas and we are going to be checking out the newest trailer release for the Dark Pictures Anthology Season 1 Finale, The Devil and Me, the Halloween Serial Killer trailer. So I guess this trailer will now focus more on the killer itself. We have yet to figure out who it may be. Um, I've said it before already, I've only checked out the official trailers, which were I think the teaser and another one. Outside of that, I've not seen anything yet, okay, so no gameplay, no nothing, nothing from the demo that released, I think, like, two days ago or something like that. I really want to try to be as spoiler-free as possible out of these official trailers, okay? Uh, you may hear it or not already, my voice hasn't been that good today, I don't know, but uh, I think for this short, quick new trailer, I think it's more than enough. So let's not waste any more time and check it out, what the new trailer has to offer. Go. Peggy 18. Rolling. Speed. And action. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, mm -hmm. artifacts. I enjoyed the voice here. I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. A man is entitled to his privacy. He's caging. I want to know what he's trying to hide. Oh, this, is, this reminds me a lot of guys, Saw. Guys, and I'm into that. With me. Think about the killers we've covered. There's always a weakness. You suggesting we invite him to tea and psychoanalyze? I'm suggesting we use our heads. Stop! Playing detective, Damn. I just want to survive. Playing detective is how we survive. He's just gonna pick us off one by one, isn't he? This is exactly what he wants. Oh, I saw that. That choose which one of us dies. Put me deeper than anyone else. We cover the ground with more cement because trust me. Oh. Oh shit! There were a lot of. There were a lot of, um, you know, short little cuts so that I got. A second, while I unpack, then I can help you find your room. Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Oh, damn! I have the feeling that this right here is going to be the most violent game from Supermassive to date. Because the thing is, like mentioned. Every time before thus far, we've had a supernatural threat in some capacity, okay? Whenever it was the Wendigo, the werewolf, the vampire, they were out for survival in some way too, right? Just for food and whatnot, and just efficiently killed. Werewolf, not really, okay? But you know what I mean. Um, and then we obviously had the entire hallucination things in Man of the Deadly Little. This really fits this time around that we really have a human killer who's truly out there to torture you, who seeks his... He seeks enjoyment in seeing you die, in seeing your death, in seeing you in pain, and seeing you completely dismantled, you know? And that obviously just gives this thing just an entirely new level of morbidity. Is that, is that how you call it? You know, morbid morbidity? And violence, like mentioned. Holy moly. This, I think, um, what I sadly didn't do for the quarry was react to all deaths. We're definitely going to be doing this for this one because I think there are going to be some huge. I'm hugely, you know, ooh. Again, though, I think it's obvious that the owner of the hotel will be the killer, probably. He invites the crew there, and then boom, you know, plays their death game with it, which, like mentioned, very Saw inspired. Even though obviously John Kramer, um, who actually will return in new Saw title, hell yeah, like mentioned, Saw one of my favorite horror franchises, um. Obviously, always had a reason to put his victims in there, even if it was just smoking in some cases. Um, this sound definitely, like mentioned, seems more like he actually just seeks enjoyment out of killing people in these traps, which, like mentioned, makes it so much more violent. Um, we, like mentioned, have to do some close-ups here. I want to pick some close-ups slash, you know... And pausing some screenshots. I mentioned this death here. We've already saw that in the um, predict the premonition from the end of uh, House of Ashes uh, with the burning, you know. 
Man, this will this will actually feel. I think like this will also be the most stressful to play thus far because I feel like you know there's obviously a difference between getting chased by something and you know mistake means never or you're in like a trap constellation and you're not allowed to make any mistakes or you're like under pressure under a time limit to you know make the right decision. I feel like that just feels it, it just feels scarier knowing it's not something. It's a monster that hunts you or something like that, but it's like the time running against you. I don't know. That, like mentioned, going to be very, very brutal. I feel like mentioned there was... I, I know that this will apparently be part of the demo. And I already heard apparently that you can see one death in the demo, you know? So, hmm. What is that choice going to be? Huh. My main instinct would obviously be to step back, you know? But, hmm. Also, may I want to say, by the way, is it just me or does the outfit look a lot like the curators? Would the curator be involved this time? Again, I feel like that would be the only supernatural twist I would maybe enjoy if, like, the curator was actually part this time. I think, ah, that, is that a real eyeball? Probably. I think that's in the, in, in top, some type of gas chamber. That too. Mm, that ah, th that's what I meant, you know, in the reaction. Oh, that's oh, that's rough. Oh, that's really rough. Oh, but here we also saw her getting dragged by him, right? I think so. Oh, it's so fast you can barely see it. I think she actually gets dragged here, which means that he will also get involved himself, you know, not just um let it trap do its work. But oh what's what's going on with, with the with the other girl? God damn, this is going to be, be the most violent one. Because again, there's a huge difference between fighting for your survival against the threat or being put into such state like that by another human and having to escape such traps, you know? Ooh, this is going to be Oh, here she dropped down. I guess that's from the from from the from the rooftop. We already saw that too. Ooh. Hmm. While I unpack, then I can help you find your room. Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Hmm. This is going to be violent. I'll just leave it late once now again. He's trying to hide. This is definitely going to be a very different experience to any of the other games. Like mentioned, we'd be a much more straightforward terror than, you know, the supernatural aspect. I'm suggesting we use our heads. The question is obviously though, what is the murder's motive? Is it H.H. Holmes himself reincarnated? Would that be the supernatural twist? Detective, I just want to survive. Playing detective is how it's crazy though how many traps there are apparently, you know? He's Can you even avoid them? Her scream her scream is getting shown as a note in the subtitles. That's that's morbid humor right Why? there. I like yeah. it. Oh, oh! Yeah, for a second I thought like, wait, you being dead doesn't mean I won't kill you again, but it wouldn't make sense. But being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. Now, let's like mention either that's H. H. Holmes reincarnated in some capacity, or it's some psycho, you know, like a descendant of him or whatever, you know, impersonating him or whatnot. You know, something in that direction is probably going to be like. Either way, this looks this looks really promising. Already, like mentioned, I've been avoiding every gameplay type of um content besides the trailers now. This one once again raised my excitement a lot. We will see each other with the devil and me when it comes out on November 18th, less than three weeks to go. Never mind, three weeks to go, I think now. I'm very excited, hope you guys are as well. Thank you for watching my little analyzers here right now. See you soon.